Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a longer term market analysis update for EGLD, which has reclaimed the range lows right around $39 to $40. That was the level of support that held back here in the June 2022 timeframe. And we've just entered back within this range, currently right around the middle of the range. The range highs being at around $66. That was the resistance in the high that we saw from back here in August. And then that was also the support that held in the summer of 2021 after this pretty significant rejection. So we're coming back down, we're within the range and we're overall just continuing to consolidate here. This move back here in December definitely looks like a pretty big fake out where we did have that breakdown on the week of December 19th and the price started to close under this on the weekly time frame, but very quickly that level was reclaimed. The price didn't accept below this level, we didn't see any continuation. And in fact, the bears were unable to flip this level at the range lows at $39, $40 into resistance. So that was a fairly bullish sign that we just came back up right into the range. And we have since seen a move all the way up to the middle of the range. You can see if I take a measure move here, that level being right around $51. That's more or less where we have at least a very short term correction. And looking out here into the next few weeks, if EGLD can come back above this level, make a higher high and really just start to reclaim that level at $50, $51 then I think we could very quickly see that final and second leg up to the range highs at $66. Coming back up here to retest the highs from August, a lot of other altcoins have actually already done that, so I think it's fairly reasonable to expect that, especially with EGLD looking pretty strong here off of these lows. So that's something to pay attention to in the next few months, but until we have some sort of sustainable breakout, we're really just consolidating within the range. So there's really not too much to get excited about if we do have a move up to that level because it very well could be a rejection at the range highs like we saw back here in August as well as October. So if that happens, there's also the scenario we just continue to consolidate and you really don't want to get too excited or too bullish until we do have a sustainable breakout. And a sustainable breakout would mean that we're just coming back above this level and then flipping it back into support. So as an illustration, that would look something like this where maybe if we have the weekly chart closing above it, holding it as support, maybe consolidating. Maybe if we get something like this, you would really look to this as a longer term bottoming process, a range of accumulation with a fake out. But until you get this, you can't really assume anything other than that we're just gonna go sideways, right? We've been seeing that price action over the last several months going all the way back here to June of 2022. So it's very plausible that if we do have that move, we could just see this continue to hammer out some choppy price action into say, the middle of this year. Not saying this exactly has to happen, but that is the trend that has been in place for a very long period of time now. So going with that as the primary outlook is probably the most reasonable outlook. And again, if we do have the breakout, that's where you would flip bullish, that's where you would flip into having this view of a big reversal pattern. And then you could start to target some of these levels from back here in the bear market where we acted as support, such as this level at $130. That was the support from January up until the breakdown in April. So that would be a very logical target if we do get that breakout. But again, until that happens, we're just within a range, we're range bound and we're most likely gonna continue to accumulate until the market is really ready to have that big reversal back into a new bull run. So with the EGLD BTC ratio, I did wanna talk about this because this is actually looking pretty strong here because we have held the support and held the lows from back here in June of 2022. In contrast to the EGLD USD pair, you can see we actually formed a lower low. On this, we actually formed a higher low. You can see that we have basically this new low formed over the last few weeks back here in the end of January, right around 180,000 Satoshis. So the fact that we're holding support at a higher valuation and we're starting to reverse up here is a great sign and it's most likely gonna lead a reversal on this downtrend on the EGLD BTC ratio, which would mean that EGLD is no longer underperforming Bitcoin, which makes a lot of sense because we are starting to see the market heal. We're starting to see a lot more people having a little bit more confidence in the market, going a little bit further out that risk curve into some of those altcoins. So it does make sense for this to start to outperform, especially into the next few months. So I would look for some continuation for a clear trend reversal to form a longer term higher low. And then from there, if we can have a higher high formed coming back above the October highs, right around 320,000 Satoshis, that would really just signify an end to this downtrend on the BTC ratio. And it would start to lead me to target 
some of these higher valuations from back here in the beginning of 2022. So that's especially important to pay attention to in the next few months. But of course, there's the other possibility where maybe we have a retest of the lows. So just in that scenario, if we do continue to come back down here and retest this zone, look to see if we can hold that as support, potentially form a double bottom off of that region. And then from there, we could look to that as a new bottoming pattern, but you really just don't want to see this lose as support. And the bear scenario would be losing that once again, if we do have that move breaking below this, this is when you have a clear continuation of the longer term trend and that would no longer be in play. And you would just look to potentially some of these levels from back here in 2020 as support. Not my primary view. I don't think this is the most likely scenario, but I do want to throw that out there because of course we have to consider all the risks and that is more or less the risk with the EGLD-BTC ratio. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. As always, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.